So I just got the new MacBook Pro with the M2 Max chip to replace my previous MacBook that had the last generation of Intel chips in it. And I decided to run some speed tests before I sold other ones, basically doing the same things as far as video editing goes with importing, running effects, exporting, and all that to see how much of a difference there is. And I expect it to perform a lot better, but I must say I was blown away by the results. My previous MacBook Pro was the 2019 16-inch model, and it was maxed out with the 2.4 gigahertz, 8-core, 9th generation Intel Core i9 processor with a turbo boost up to 5.0 gigahertz. At 64 gigabytes of memory with the AMD Radeon Pro 5600 graphics and 8 gigabytes of memory and a 2 terabyte solid state drive. When I got this computer a few months after that, the new MacBook Pro with the M1 chip came out and I just bought a new computer. I didn't want to deal with selling it to get a better one. So I figured I'll do this and wait till the next one. And now with the new computer, I got the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M2 Max 12 core CPU, 38 core GPU, 16 core neural engine with 96 gigabytes of unified memory and a four terabyte solid state drive. So I'm going to take you through some of the tests I ran comparing the old and the new MacBook Pro speed and performance when it comes to video editing, since that's primarily what I do with these computers to help you figure out if upgrading to a new one is worth your money. So what I did initially was just take my FX3 out of the garage and record myself working out for a video I was doing for my fitness channel, which I'll have a link to that as well, Camber Fitness, if you're interested, do a lot of content there as well. But I did 25 minutes of 4K footage at the highest settings on my FX3. I took that and dropped it onto both computers at the same time to see how long it took to import that footage onto the computer. The new MacBook Pro finished importing in one minute and five seconds, while the older MacBook Pro took all the way up to three minutes and 14 seconds, which took an extra two minutes and nine seconds or three times as long just to import the footage onto my computer. Next, I opened up a project in Final Cut Pro and I set the parameters to a two by one aspect ratio or 18 by nine, depending on how you look at it, which is the aspect ratio I use for all my videos on this channel now. And with dropping that footage into Final Cut Pro, conforming it to the proper size, and then letting it import and render. And in doing that, the new MacBook Pro finished importing and rendering that whole 25 minute file in two minutes and 45 seconds. And if you take a close look at the old MacBook Pro, it's only at about 14% completed with the task when the new one's already finished. And I saw that thing and wow, there is no way this thing is that much faster. And I waited and waited and the fans kicking on the old computer, it's taken a long time to render time still going still going I'm thinking you know it might take three times as long so nine minutes something like that nope kept going 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 and finally the old computer finished it 18 minutes and 51 seconds so just from going from the camera to the computer into Final Cut Pro into the parameters that I want with the right aspect ratio we're already at an extra 18 minutes plus before I even get to editing. So the next task came with what I would do in editing, adding some color correction, some sharpening, a few effects to see how long it took to process that. And no surprise, the new one processed it in 41 seconds, rendered the entire 25 minute 4K, 422 10 bit clip, no problem. Whereas the old computer, fans kicking on again, taking quite a bit longer until it finally finished at four minutes and four seconds for an extra three minutes and 22 seconds or six times as long to do the same task. And finally, the last task is exporting that 25 minute 4K clip with all the effects added into it. And no surprise, the new computer sped through it in a whole 16 seconds, while the old MacBook Pro took two minutes and 13 seconds to export the footage. Which brings us to a total time difference of 23 and a half minutes just for all the processing of the footage with adding the effects and all that. And that doesn't even include the time that it would take with editing, playback, things getting hung up and stuff like that because of performance issues. And that makes a huge difference when it comes to editing because once you get into editing and you learn shortcuts and all that, I can be speeding through something real fast. And I've had times where I try to do too much and the program locks up. I got to close it, reopen it. But this new computer, I have not had any problems. It is speeding through things. I've never heard a fan kick on on this thing once. It's quite a bit larger. The computer is definitely thicker. It weighs more. But to me, I don't care because there are a lot of benefits. I like the speed. It blew my mind how fast this thing is going. And it is also very nice to not have to carry one of these things around with me all the time because this new computer has HDMI in it. It has an SD card slot, which is so nice because I like being able to just throw the card in there from the camera, no problem. It uses a new MagSafe adapter, or I guess you could call it the old one because that's what they used to use before they went to only the USB-C. There's still multiple USB-C 
plugs on this thing and they will power as well. So you have multiple options with that. I do like the new one, it's a 140 watt charger. So quite a bit larger than my last one it was a 96 watt charger. I don't know how big of a difference this computer is over the M1 Max. On the Apple keynote, they showed it had quite a bit more performance, but over the Intel, it is crazy how much better this computer is already. Definitely recommend one of these new ones if you're in the market for getting a new one, trading your new computer. And this thing only costs a few hundred dollars more than my previous one did new. Obviously, I sold the old one for nowhere near as much as I bought it, but that's how it goes with electronics, same with cameras, all that type of stuff. But if you have any questions about this computer, post them down below. Just wanted to show you that there definitely is a speed difference, especially if you're going from one of the Intel ones to this new one. It is great for editing, really enjoy it. Hit that like button if this video is helpful. Leave a comment down below with any questions you might have. Subscribe if you're new, got lots of good videos on filmmaking. I'm gonna start doing more videos on editing, especially now that this works even better. Screen recording while editing is gonna be a breeze. So look out for that and let me know down in the comments if there are any editing questions you have or any type of specific editing videos that you'd like to see and I'll get to those soon. And I'll see you in the next one.